Hello viewers, this is Mazabin Ferdos, your host for Super Brands Bangladesh. I am today present with yet another episode of Super Brands Bangladesh. The objective of our show is to share the journey of the brands who have obtained Super Brands Bangladesh. In the next few episodes, we'll be sharing the glorious journey, the brands who have obtained Super Brands Bangladesh. In today's episode, we'll be sharing the brand stories of three brands who is driving the nation with color, comfort and fashion. They are very successful in their own spaces. Now, I would like to welcome today's three brands who have obtained Super Brands Bangladesh. Our first brand is Pride. Since the introduction of the retail brand in Bangladesh, market in 1991, the Pride Limited has shown a strong commitment to the dynamic relationship between textile heritage and fashion. It has since aspired to serve consumers with the best quality apparel and lifestyle products at the most affordable prices. Our second brand of today's episode is Bata. Bata operates worldwide and recognizes that its customers deserve the reward of wearing shoes that are both cool and comfortable at a reasonable price. In Bangladesh, Bata started it, its operation in 1962 and has become the leading footwear company in Bangladesh. Last but not the least, our third brand of today's episode is Elite Paints. Elite Paint is the first ever paint company to have been established in Bangladesh in 1952. Since its inception, the company has evolved to become a market leader in paint brand. Elite Paint's primary aim was to prioritize customers' satisfaction by delivering high quality products at competitive price. I would like to welcome our very guests from the three brands. First, I would like to welcome Professor Mohammed A. Momen, Director Pride Group, Mr. Patricio Andrew Allegri, Chief Collection Manager from Bata Bangladesh, and Mr. Shazir Ahmed, Director Elite Pens. A very warm welcome to Super Brands Bangladesh episode. Thank you. Thank you. First, I would like to start with Mr. Momen. As we know, Pride Limited begins its operation as a retail brand by launching its first retail store in Dhaka in 1991. So, can you please uh, share the inception stories with our viewers today? When we first started, at that time there was no concept of branding in textile in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Because everybody was sort of a generic manufacturer, so were we. Right. We used to manufacture and the products used to be sold in the, as a generic product in the wholesale market. Mm -hmm. So we finished our studies abroad and we came back to Bangladesh with the view of doing something different. So we thought of why not start branding textile products. True. At that time we were a manufacturer of saris only. Mm -hmm. Sari has been a traditional product in Bangladesh but uh, most of it were either made ha in, with hand looms or or in a cottage type of an environment, mm -hmm. or they were smuggled in into the country from other neighboring countries. So having a brand was very, you know, uh, for Saris was a very rightful decision at that point in time. Mm -hmm. That is how we started uh, having a Sari brand at that point in time. Okay. Patricio, uh, Bata started its operation in 1962 mm -hmm. and became the leading footwear company of the country. So, can you share with uh, today with our viewers about the journey, how it started? Wherever you go yes. around the world and you talk about Bata, people always tend to think that it's a local brand. Mm -hmm. Where actually the history of Bata is coming from Europe, from mm -hmm. Czech Republic. True. So, it was founded in uh, 1894 mm -hmm. and from there on, about 125 years, there's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. So, definitely in Bangladesh was one of the key countries where Bata decided to you know, start the, this manufacturing industry. And from there on, uh, I think it's uh, been in the hearts and minds of the people. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely there's a big responsibility for us today to also be a global brand, but also act locally. Locally. So global, I think, is, yes. is one of the keys. Yes, yes. Now coming to Mr. Shazir of Elite Paint. So this is the first ever paint company uh, to have been established in back in 1952, even before our liberation war. So what is the journey, the inception? How did it all start back in 1952? 
It all started back in 1952, simply down to one man, mm -hmm. my late grandfather, Mr. Sirajuddin Ahmed. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a graduate from uh, Selimullah College in Dhaka. And after his graduation, he was working at a trading firm as an executive, but then later realized that the knowledge he had gained from his experiences, he felt that at that time, since uh, paint and chemicals were being imported into the country, it seemed like a good industry to start. At that time, it was East Pakistan. It was going through a period of industrialization mm -hmm. and um, paint was becoming a very costly item for people to buy. We must understand that paint is not a luxury item. It's a necessity item. It helps protect our asset. Sure. At the end of the day, paint is the finishing touch to any factory, any building that is newly being constructed. And in 1952, he had he started the first factory based in Agrabad mm -hmm. with very simple machineries and small capital. And uh, he was the main man himself. He was a graduate in chemist, chemistry and uh, he developed the paint, he found the machineries, he was the salesman, he was the financier, he was the accountant, he was one. everything. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and in 1965, actually, we came up with the very famous tagline, which you hear right now, Elite Paint Wrong Era Raja. Mm -hmm. And that was founded in, in 1965. And by then, already, we had established our national-wide distribution channel all over Bangladesh. And we were the first in the country at that time, at first in, in terms of market in terms, in terms of market share. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we stand proud um, to be a 67 year old company catering uh, to all kinds of customers, not only in the decorative sector, but we also make all kinds of coating solutions for factories and also for ships. One of our major customers is the Bangladesh Navy themselves, mm -hmm. who are procuring major amounts of uh, ship marine paints from us every year through uh, tender contracts. Mm -hmm. Coming to Mr. Momen, what are the innovations uh, are coming forward uh, in terms of Pride Group? Uh, although we started our branding of textile in 1991, but we go back in 1961 when we started this company. Right. So we are a textile manufacturer from the beginning. So mm -hmm. that means we used to process fabrics which are raw and then we pre treated them into printed or into any other form of finished product at that time the major product that we used to sell is in the form of a sari that is to be a finished product mm -hmm. but there has been a lot of transformation in the, in the demographics in the societal you know the lifestyle and also the you know the the population has become much more affluent and then you know things have changed in a many in you know, a positive direction mm -hmm. so we had to also you know uh, align ourselves with all of those developments and keep on adding new products to our line and now as you mentioned we do the whole range of products uh, our goal is to become like a lifestyle a company where you yeah. can have a brand where you can have all of those products so we have the manufacturing base you know the retail front is pride but we have got all our manufacturing whatever you see in the shops is 99 percent of that is manufactured by us right. so we have our own spinning mill weaving mill dyeing mill uh, mm -hmm. to produce the kind of and finishing mill to produce the kind of products that we produce so the capacity over the years we had we had to enhance we had to continuously innovate to you know to kind of uh, uh, make ourselves relevant with the changes that are happening in the country coming back to mr patricia about the, the innovations what are the innovations are taking place in terms of bata bangladesh uh, definitely in terms of products there, there are many innovations of new collections that are coming up Mm -hmm. We work closely with a uh, Bata Innovation Lab, which is uh, based in Toronto, okay. where basically they come up and they study, they go around the world, checking out new manufacturing process, new technologies, new materials uh, that we can apply to our products. Uh, these collections are launched globally. Mm -hmm. So every now and then, every season, you can find new collections in the stores. Uh, for the people that haven't gone to our stores, I, I recommend you take a, take a walk to our stores and you'll be surprised to to see how the collection has, has improved and how it has changed throughout the years. I think uh, yes. for today, for Bata, innovation is one of the biggest assets and we're uh, investing a lot in innovation throughout all of our countries. As coming to Mr. Shazir with the same question, though it has got more than um, 60 years of history and you are continuously as the one man to the, the third generation business now. So uh, how you take your innovations taking places in Elite Pens? Well, I think in any chemical industry, uh, innovation is something that has to happen almost on a daily basis mm -hmm. because patterns are changing all the time. 
-hmm. In Bangladesh, we have customers who have requirement for economy-based products, but also we have customers who have a need for premium-based products. Sure. And uh, we have more than 50 products in our uh, product line, mm -hmm. and uh, ranging from decorative to industrial to marine. As you know that in coastal areas of our country, like in Chittagong or Kulna, the weather conditions there are very much exposed to salt. So the right. buildings are very much exposed to salt nature conditions. Mm -hmm. And we found that a lot of the buildings there, the paint would start peeling off because of the salt that's there in the weather. So what, we, what did our R&D chemists do? We straight away came up with a new product called a salt seal. So if you apply this salt seal product in your buildings and if your building is exposed to coastal areas, then the effect of the salt will not damage your building or will not harm your building okay. and it will protect it. Being a 67 year old company, we have learned from our customers over the years what sort of problems they're facing, mm -hmm. how to overcome them. Uh, we maintain 65% uh, of our raw materials are imported. Mm -hmm. So we maintain a lot of close communication with our global suppliers, big mm -hmm. companies such as BASF, who are continuously helping us in developing the perfect paint to suit any weather condition and make sure that all of our customers' assets are protected in the right way. Coming to Mr. Moment about uh, the company has come a long, long way. So it's a very successful journey altogether. So would you please share in a nutshell the success stories, the journey the, uh, to our viewers? All the companies that you're interviewing now has got a long history. Yes. So people has, uh, all of the entrepreneurs, are our four, you know, in my case, it's also my father. So we are also mm -hmm. a company with third generation working. In our case, since we're in the fashion industry, the trends that are changing very fast. Very rapidly. You know, and then a product changes, you know, apparently to an end consumer is just a product. But mm -hmm. to us, it's a whole lot of investment at the back. We have to change our equipment. We have to upgrade them. We have to bring in newer technologies to adapt. So it, there are changes in fiber, the changes in raw material chemicals, the mm -hmm. changes in the equipments that we use, the changes in the processes that we have to involve. Mm -hmm. So all of those things we have to continuously do. And plus, you know, even in although we are uh, in a developing country, but the fashion with newer technologies, with, with uh, you know, uh, everybody uh, in social media, with Instagram and all of that, people are nowadays, you know, very well connected. So as in our group, we are also an exporter. Mm -hmm. So we have our design studio, we have our connectivity with our European customers and American customers. So we are kind of updated on the trends and the, st and the fashion and the styling and the product and the process. So that also helps us, you know, change our products here in the, for the local market. And there's no shortcut, so you have no, to continuously work on it. Yes, you know, hard That would work. be my advice yes. to the, yes. whoever wants Fantastic. to be Fantastic, thank, thank you, sir. Coming back to Mr. Patricia about the journey to a success. Especially. Definitely, it's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. As I said, uh, it's more than 125 years. So mm -hmm. with all this time, I think uh, it has allowed us to be in the hearts and the top of mind of our consumers. So I think this is a big success for us, thinking globally, acting locally. And also it comes down to our basic core values for the company, whether it's being bold, having a bold approach to our mm -hmm. everyday business, or is exceeding customer expectations. Mm -hmm. And also, the most important asset of the company, I think, is the people. You know, there's actually people behind the company. There's people, a big group of talented professionals working every day to deliver and exceed customer expectations. So there's a people behind this big industry that you mm -hmm. see. They're making shoes. They're there every day, 24 seven, trying to, you know, get you to be surprised. Coming back to Mr. Shadzi, about the company started with from a stretch as you said. So the, there's a long, a very long journey and successful journey. So the mantra of this journey towards the success do be sure. It's, it's a success that is shared jointly by the company with all of its uh, key stakeholders, mm -hmm. starting from our fellow customers to our fellow dealers who work every day to stock our, stock our paint in their store and sell and sell to the customers to our fellow painters who have belief in our paint and go and paint all the houses with, with, with all of our different colors that we give. Mm -hmm. So I would say that the success is definitely a success that is shared by our paint community over the last 67 years. Um, and it's definitely a recognition that I believe that we have got and Superbrands has given us this recognition. 
And uh, we hope that the next 67 years with the fourth and the fifth and the sixth generation who mm -hmm. will be coming in can really take this company towards a more global foot footprint. That's our goal. Coming to my next question, the interesting one. Uh, some of the remarkable facts or the interesting facts uh, our viewers don't know about Pride Group altogether. Would you please share those okay, this with is us the first, today? This is the first textile brand in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we introduced a lot of uh, retail experiences that was totally absent in the country. Prior to True. that, it, there were a lot of salesmanship. There was no standard of fixed price or pricing model. Mm -hmm. There was no return policy. The customers were kind of, uh, in salespeople used to be continuously pushing them to buy. So we have removed all of those things. We have brought in the, brought in the, uh, the kind of modern, you know, uh, experience that you get into a retail environment. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, you don't have to, you know, you, you choose yourself. Mm -hmm. And these uh, products are there for you with all the, all the attributes that are there. The products are all of international quality because, you know, all these testing parameters were totally absent. Right. And, uh, you know, we have introduced all of those things. So whatever we have, we are selling there, it is, it is based on what, whatever international parameters are there for textile products to have. The border uh, checks or tariff barriers or some, etc. couldn't stop the smuggling. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we are the local manufacturer. We have actually came up with the product with the right quality, right pricing strategy and etc. that eventually helped stop all of this smuggling and uh, this has become a, a Bangladeshi brand and we have actually been very successful to win the hearts of our customers. Bata has been recognized in Guinness World Records as the world's largest shoe manufacturer and retailer in 90, uh, 2004. Mm -hmm. So what are the other interesting exciting facts uh, that our viewers don't know usually? Oh, Bata is uh, present around 70 countries around the world. We have close to 20, 23 manufacturing facilities around the world. Mm -hmm. We employ close to 30,000 people mm -hmm. around the world. Here in Bangladesh, basically we produce close to 30 million pairs mm -hmm. per year. It's coming back to Mr. Shazir about the interesting facts. So we already know that um, the only paint company that offers the lead safe paints with uh, certification in Bangladesh. So what are the other interesting unknown facts our viewers don't know? Ah, okay. We're actually a very diversified group. Um, mm -hmm. Other than paint, we have interests in various other industries. Um, some people might not know this, but my grandfather, Mr. Sirajuddin Ahmed, he was also the founder of the first private bank and the first private insurance company in Bangladesh, uh, AB Bank and BG, Bangladesh General Insurance Company, okay. respectively. Right. And my father was also the founder of the first private sector refinery in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. super refinery, mm -hmm. which is uh, refining petrol, diesel and other solvents and giving it to the government of Bangladesh and to other paint manufacturers in okay. the country. Um, and also Elite Paint within its own facility has a lot of uh, backward linkage factories as well. Mm -hmm. So at that time we were the first paint company to introduce our own resin making plant. Mm -hmm. So resin is one of the key raw materials for making oil based and solvent based paint and also making thinners. So we make that completely ourselves in our facility. Superman's title itself, it carries a lot of responsibility and values. So the, the title itself, what values and advantage it gives to the Pride Group? I think any kind of recognition is uh, valuable for any brand. Mm -hmm. So whether it is a local recognition or a global recognition, you know. So super brand is a recognition. I'm sure that you have chosen these in these companies based on certain criteria and it's sure. about a particular sector mm -hmm. that you have chosen. I mean, there are many contenders. Mm -hmm. So of that you have of chosen course. us. So that itself is a is a pride position for us that you know we have. Uh, successfully qualified to to meet your criteria. What it can do for us, you know, as you have chosen a host of companies and um, almost the best of the best in the industry, so you know that's a platform by itself, and uh, you know, and uh, pro possibly each brand will will support each other, True. and you know, we, this is like a, a, this this a, a common platform common altogether. platform for all of us. You know, I, I'm seeing that other brands are. Uh, you know, I mean, who has been recognized, they are using the super brand logo like ourselves. And uh, so that way the customers probably get some sort of an endorsement. Yeah. That is very important. 
sure. so we are uh, this for two years we just got it like i think around six seven months mm. so i'm sure that you know we're going to reap some benefit out of it yes thank yes. you yeah. definitely coming to mr patricia about the questions that super brands title um what advantage and the significance it is giving to bata uh, definitely this uh, recognition is uh, you know due to i think the hard work that has been mm -hmm. put every day to basically delivering and being up to the expectation of our customers. So with great uh, recognitions also come great responsibilities mm -hmm. because definitely we want to keep on delivering. We want to keep on uh, delivering excellent products and that's something that needs to be worked on day by day and that we hopefully we keep on uh, we keep on receiving the award. <laughs> Coming to Mr. Shazir about the question that the title itself uh, coming to the elite pens, um, uh, what are the significance um, it has got with the elite pens? Definitely, um, the fact that Super Brands is such a—it's not just a national-wide recognition, but it gives us a global recognition, yeah, true, right? and this is very important. We must understand that there's so many Bangladeshis living abroad as well that mm. will get access to knowing who the local companies are that are getting this super brands recognition and mm. it just gives more confidence to our fellow customers and clients who are already so satisfied with our quality but now they feel that they have been doing business with the brand that's a super brand and it gives pride amongst the community as mm. well and uh, definitely this is an award that I must share with all my colleagues and wh without whose hard work this definitely would not have been possible so sure. thank you to all of them. Thank you to all three of you to have the time to give in to Super Brands uh, from your valuable time and sharing the splendid background stories and uh, the hurdles it has come, the, all the groups come across to this position today as Super Brands. Thank you. Thank you, viewers. That is it for today's episode with Pride, Bata and Elite Pens. I'll be present again with other amazing brands who are near to us and also Super Brands Bangladesh. Till then, take care.